Dino's course up kind of, but it's going to, but I'm using the B-Bot to push it over, and then hopefully it pushes over into that one, and um, knocks all of them over, because we have tried, we've been trying, and trying to get it right, but it won't. So what has happened in the past? How come the B-Bot didn't knock it over? Because I think it's just because it was not straight. Like it, like it wasn't straight on. Okay. And I think it, and I think our, the tubes were, the tubes were, um, like crooked. Okay. Kenny, what can you tell me about what you guys have been doing? We were trying to make a domino course. Uh, the board didn't work because the V-bow is keep on pressing over this way. But if it presses over this way, we have this one. We'll knock over that one. And then that one. Then, uh, yeah. So what I'm hearing you say is that you... The first time you had them all set up in a single row, yeah. And what you decided to do now was you decided to set them up kind of sporadic, yeah. So that no matter where the bebop goes, <laughs> it can knock over. So what just happened? It just knocked. How come? Because which one? Wind. Just wind. From the wind. Which one knocked over though? All what started it all? Where's your bed? It's this one. That really tall one, right? And you guys have been struggling with that one. How did you try and make that one stay up before? Yeah, my guard. With these blocks. Okay, so you kind of wedged it in there? Yeah. All right, set it back up, and we'll check in with you in a minute and see how it's going.